Hello everybody! Today I will show you how to prepare an EFNG network emulator. I will show you how to run EFNG on VMware Workstation and access virtual routers from your computer. In my case I will use virtual devices. It's easier and it is my test environment where I can do what I want. You can use physical network devices, it's up to you. Let's download EFNG community. At first you will see EFNG Professional Learning Center version. And the next links about free if community free edition version. I pick a mega mirror. And click download. Download started. It takes a couple of minutes. So, when archive has downloaded, unzip it to current folder. Archive unzip it. Now open VMware Workstation. Click File tab. Next, click Open. And here you need to pick a file with OVF extension. Here you need to choose folder where you want to place your virtual machine. Import has started. OK, import finish it. There is our virtual machine, EFNG, Community Edition. Let's run our virtual machine. I don't have enough resources for it. Um, here is 8, I need to 4 because my host machine has 4 with CPU. I change it and now run again. EFNG is my favorite of appliance for environment. It's very useful for network administration, system administrator and DevOps and DevSecOps administrator. There is a lot of devices like Cisco devices, Microtic devices, Juniper devices, Palo Alto security device, Linux operation system you can run here and Windows operation system. Whatever you want is up to you. Let's go through the link HTTP, IP address 0 0.47. And now you see console, login is admin by default and by default password is if. Now you need to create a new lab. I call it network automation. By default, you don't have any images in EFNG. 
In order for them to appear, you need to upload them there. Therefore, we will now download the WinCP program. Go through the link. Official site WinCP. Download for Windows. My host my operation system is Windows 8. And now let's install WinCP. Accept. Next. Next setup. Let's enter our IP address 0 0.47 admin. Oh, sorry, root if password. And now you connect to our virtual machine and you can upload your files to it. As you can see, I have all inactive devices. I can choose any of it because I, I have to upload some images to if and G. And so go to WinSCP. Choose my bin image, Cisco and upload to our FNG virtual machine. Folder Opti Unit Lab Add-ons EOL Bin Okay, image downloaded. Now go to HTTP console, web console and create new node. Choose Cisco EO. And as you can see, I have a router, Cisco router. And now you need to configure if and G. Try to start the device, it will not start. I'm gonna go to SSH to connect to if and G and uh, fix permissions. Login is root, password is if. Okay, do this command. For fixed permission, let's recreate the device. Add object node, choose your image, Cisco IO. By default, save. And now let's try to start our device. As you can see, our device is started. In this step, you need to download Windows installation pack for managing your devices from GUI. I choose a mega mirror. I already installed this Windows installation pack. And as you can see, when you click on device, open the SSH session and you can configure your devices from your GUI. Now I'm gonna add two Cisco devices to my lab environment and bridge interface management. I now shows you how to do it. 
one and uh, second and another one third my Cisco router Cisco I always have by default all options okay I have three Cisco routers R1, R2, R3 now I want to add management interface management interface allows us to connect to our network with host computer link edit Okay, and start three devices. Now I'm going to set up Cisco routers. Let's check the connection with the router. As you can see, the connection is established. Here is how I set them up. Thank you for your attention, subscribe and goodbye.